Iowa football vs. Nebraska, time, TV schedule, game preview, score Cornhuskers host Hawkeyes at Memorial Stadium by Grace Note posted, 9.04 a.m., November 24, 2017 updated, 9.04 a.m., November 24, 2017 running back LaShawn Daniels number 29 of the Iowa Hawkeyes runs up the field in front of linebacker Dedrick Young number 5 and safety Aaron Williams number 24 of the Nebraska Huskers during the second quarter, on November 25, 2016 at Kinnick Stadium in Iowa. Lincoln, Nebraska, Iowa found itself ranked as high as 20th in the college football playoff rankings coming off an unlikely thrashing of Ohio State earlier this month but the offense that was so proficient against the Buckeyes has returned to its early season form. The Hawkeyes may catch a bit of a break in that regard in their final regular season contest, however, when they travel to Nebraska on Friday to face the worst defense in the Big Ten as the team's battle for the Heroes Trophy. TV, 4 p.m. ET, Fox Sports 1. Line, Iowa minus 3 in during its November 4th meeting with Ohio State. Iowa had scored fewer than 20 points in four of its first five conference games, but the Hawkeyes rolled up 487 yards on a one-loss team en route to a 55-24 victory. The Hawkeyes fell 38-14 at number 4 Wisconsin the following week and mustered only 258 yards last week in a 24-15 loss to Purdue to give the Boilermakers their first conference road win of the season. The Cornhuskers may provide a bit of a soft landing, however, as they have surrendered league worst marks of 34.6 points and 429.9 yards under first year defensive coordinator Bob Dyko. During the 1 5 slide that may very well mark the beginning of the end for third year coach Mike Riley, Nebraska is coughing up an average of 43.2 points and 510 yards. Numbers made worse after giving up 609 yards in last weekend's 56-44 defeat at number 11 Penn State. About Iowa, 6-5, 3-5 Big Ten, Akron Wadley ranks 7th in the conference in rushing with 862 yards and needs 138 to become the 4th player in program history to produce back-to-back 1,000-yard rushing seasons and the first since Fred Russell in 2002-03. Sign-up linebacker Josie Jewell, who is one of the five finalists for the Bronco Nagurski Trophy, leads the Big Ten and ranks third in the nation with 11.7 tackles per game, his 117 stops are nine shy of matching his career high. Josh Jackson paces Division I in interceptions, seven, one shy of tying the school record, and passes defended, 24, the junior cornerback also ranks third in FBS in pass breakups. 17, and interception return yards, 163. About Nebraska, 4-7, 3-5, Stanley Morgan Jr., Big Ten best 91.2 receiving yards per game, who produced a career-high 185 yards on seven catches against Penn State, ranks second in the conference in receiving yards, 912, 31 shy of topping former Heisman Trophy winner Johnny Rogers' school record. J.D. Spielman has already set school freshman receiving records for yards, 830, and receptions, team high 55. Tanner Lee went 19 for 22 for 327 yards in the second half versus the Nittany Lions after going 7 for 15 for 72 yards before the break. He has not thrown an interception in four of his last five games and is 62 yards shy of becoming the fourth Nebraska quarterback to throw for 3,000 yards in a season. Extra points 1. Iowa is 9-2 in trophy games since the start of the 2015 season and has won three of the last four meetings in this rivalry, including both games in Lincoln. 2. Morgan, 2nd, and Spielman, 7th already rank inside the top 10 in school history in single-season receiving yards and are the first Nebraska duo to top 800 receiving yards in the same season. 3. Hawkeyes QB Nate Stanley, 23, needs four more touchdown passes to tie Chuck Long's single-season school record. Prediction, Iowa 34, Nebraska 24 copyright 2017 by DivClick on Detroit.